and welcome back to my channel where we are finally going to catch up with some Graveyard Keeper. It's been uh, nearly three weeks since I recorded any videos to do with the Graveyard Keeper and just as long since it's been on the channel. So I figured this is a pretty good time. It's a lovely warm Saturday uh, for the first time ever. The background is kind of tidy. That's not going to remain that way. Uh, once the house is com the housework is done, which uh, it won't be for a while, but once it's done, I will wreck the place again because I'm going to do some more work on my Ahsoka headdress, which is sitting in the corner and um, is piled up under other stuff. So there's that. Anyway, um, I pardon me. We're still aiming for that like 250 red dots. So I'm going to see what we can do. And we're going to get straight into the game. So, here we are. We are at our world. I have just found out that we have only done 15 days of work um, on this game. Which isn't that much. So, what are we going to do? What day are we on? Oh, okay. Um, hmm. got to build a well and we've got to build a tent we've got to get six moths five honey pots you know what let's do some honey pots let's see if we can find some honey pots for dig dug yeah that one it's gonna take a couple of days because there aren't that many uh oh shit yeah kill the bats Hey. Yeah, bats are dead. Right, okay. So are we nearly, but you know. More damage to us. How many are we on? Two. Right, okay, this is... We're going to get hurt. But we can die, I think. Have we? Have I shown you that we can die? I don't think I have. Um. Anyway, we can. Oh no. Oh, um, huh, minus one heart, hmm, not much healing to go on, um, hmm, okay, then maybe we're not going to do that because we're going to die, but, okay, then let's go see what we need to make this well, shall we? I can't ever remember. Oh no, more bats. Run away. Run, little graveyard keeper. Run, run like there is no tomorrow. <laughs> Gosh, it takes a while to get to the camp. Anyway, anywho, what do we need? We need to create happiness. <laughs> wonderful so the way to make people happy is to what the fuck is that oh it's a flower okay is to feed them now we don't have a lot of our own food but we can do this um we could put the carrots in there but we do need carrots ourselves so sorry guys uh we also need to get some water actually that will that will help so Back to the farm again. So, uh, this is going to take money that we don't have. <laughs> We're going to try anyway. Uh, right, so we need to plant some more carrots. We don't have that many seeds, to be honest, I don't think. Um, no, we don't. Uh, we need more wheat seeds because bread is the easiest thing to make and it's the easiest thing to give to them. So let's also get some water because that again is really easy and useful to get to them. So we can have some, you know, happiness going so we can start making them a well and then they don't need us to get water. Oh, excuse me, everybody. Let's bake some more mushrooms for them. We have no onions. Oh, we do have some flour though. Oh, and we do have some dough. So we can do that. 
Unfortunately, this gives you green points, but you know, they are going to be useful in, in the long run. I'm um, hoping, anyway. Right. We do have some bread. Which is incredibly useful, to be honest. Uh, right, we will put that, but we are then going to do this. Because we need those to give the donkey so that the donkey will give us a corpse because without the corpse we can't make any money and without money we can't grow anything so um, that's pretty important for us oh is the carrots already in there oh well we're gonna put some more carrots in uh, yes there was that as well we need to make so much stuff we need to do to make things easier for ourselves and in the beginning it is quite hard <laughs> right then we're up we've got how many more honey to find two more honey to find and then we can go and give this to dig duck dig duck diggity dug dug dig um i can't ever remember where the honey trees are uh you can uh, e eventually end up with with your own kind of um, I can't remember the word ah there we go uh, beekeeper -y. beekeeping beekeeper ing ing mm. words skills not not my strong suit today apparently oh dear More things we have to fix, everybody. More things. Actually, you know what? I am actually going to go back and do... We're going to do this because it will make things so much easier for us. So I don't have my handy-dandy notebook uh, that I normally use for gaming. I've just got a notebook. Uh, so here we go. Uh, we need... Ten. Okay, and with that, we're going to head back and we're going to make that stuff that we need to fix that. It will give us some red points because we need a load of those and we do need some stone. So we're gonna, we're gonna hack up some stone as well while we're here. Now, technically I should get more iron. That will give us more points. Um, there's a load of iron around here that we can then use and melt down and melting it down will also increase our red points kind of as a passive thing, which I should have realized and done anyway, but I'm not always the best at remembering what I should be doing. That's kind of like the weird thing about all this. Okay, so what do we need first? We need 10 wedges. When he's not being weird. Come on, work. Jeez, stop dancing. This is not the time to do the dancing. Uh, right, we need two wooden planks. I'm sure we had to. We don't have to. Wow, this is weird. Um, well, we need to make two. Again, with the random dancing. It's not normally this bad. And for the simple iron bits, we needed four of them. Red points, here we come. Okay, let's do this. And that gave us no red points at all. But it did open up the quarry area, which we'll need in the future. We don't need it now, but we need it in the future. Which means that's pretty important. So here we go. Forest near the river. And if you walk further enough forward, up all the way to the top, we find the quarry. And this is our home. Our home away from home, I'm mad. Actually, can you, can we? No, we can't, we can't cook anything here. Boo. So we've got to fix this up. Oh, we can do that without worrying. Okay, that's fine. There we go. We got some blue points from that as well nice so see there is a quarry here 
We can't do anything with it yet. Oh, we can get some stone. And we could get some marble. But again, we don't need marble yet. Marble isn't on our list of massively good things to, to go. Oh, and there's also... This is where you can get zombies to do things. Yeah, we're nowhere near getting zombies. We've been going for like nearly 10 episodes and we are nowhere near being able to have zombies yet. Nowhere near. What's this again? Why is this stuff here? There's a lot of stuff here. So. Oh, there's even a coal mine here. This stuff becomes incredibly useful in the future when we want to be making lots and lots of iron ore and we don't want to keep cutting down trees. And we can get across to the camp this way as well. It is a really foggy day. Oh, look. Aha, one of the two honey things that we... Yeah, one more honey. We just need one more honey. And then we can go to dig. And we have completed our mission. Our one mission that we had. So we're at 0 0.935 happiness. Aha, here we go. Look guys, if I have anything left, you can have it. But seeing as while we're here, we might as well drop off some water and some more food. Because if we can get a single point of happiness, we can make a well. Which will be incredibly useful for us. So yeah, I'm going to go and travel all the way to dig. This is going to take us a while. In fact, we might not even get there today, which sucks. So this might be a three episode video again three episode three day episode jeez language skills i don't have the two silver required to get a teleportation stone that should probably be what i work on getting more than anything else because the teleportation stones are incredibly useful they teleport you all over the place as you know the name suggests and it makes things so much easier almost as easy as opening up the underpass which is what we're trying to do at the moment So we made it to dig. Here's your honey dig. Cake. Literally does what it says on the tin. If you eat cake, you can get more red points when you, you do anything that gives you red points, which is incredibly useful later on. But now, now we need to try and get back home before the donkey gets there because the donkey should in theory actually be turning up now because we paid him in carrots and we've given him like loads of carrots but i find it weird that oh did we leave a corpse that we've left a corpse there that corpse is going to be stinky and we're not going to get a burial certificate for it either uh actually at what point can I right okay now I shouldn't do this but it's useful and it will get us money in the long run and it means that we can start you know getting rid of corpses that won't give us enough stuff in our graveyard so like the one that is probably rotting its head off well I mean yeah that's what happens when you rot. in the in the thing at the moment we're gonna like turn that into money okay How are we going to do that, you ask? Well, we come down here to this place that I showed you earlier. We've got to get some billets, but essentially we can now burn corpses, which is the plan. How the donkey knows that we still have a corpse in there, I do not know, but we do. So let's go get some billets. Here we go. We've got a load. We're going to keep those for down here. We're going to make a butt ton load more. But we're going to burn our first corpse. How does that sound, guys? And why are we going to burn this corpse? Because it gives us money and it also means that we can get rid of stuff that are bodies that we don't need. Uh, really useful. Very, very useful skill. Oh. I miss sleeping so much. It turns out it's hard work being a graveyard keeper. I have to do everything by myself. I remember something in days 
in the old days, the keepers used to have lots of helpers. They were a lot like me, but without the sense of humour. One of them should still be chained to the wall in the northern part of the church cellar. Oh, one more thing. I don't remember why, but I'm quite sure you should never unchain him. Never. That's our zombie friend. See, this is a dead, a rotten corpse. Not as bad as I thought, but we're going to take the body and we're going to burn it. Because it's not going in our graveyard with that much rot in it. So we just do this. We set it on fire and we walk away. And when we come back tomorrow morning, it will be burnt. We'll have a death certificate, some salt. You heard that right. Salt and some ash. The ash can be used to make paint, which can be used to make ink. The salt we do use in food production and the burial certificate we sell. So uh, that's pretty much it for this episode. Not a lot happened, but we did manage to get Doug, get the cake recipe and get Doug his honey. So as always, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Please do like, comment, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Take care, have fun and goodbye.